My name in Second Life is Judy Lynn India. I am an abstract painter. I've been drawing since I could hold a crayon on the walls, <laughs> on the furniture. What my mother would do was she'd get butcher paper, tape it up next to my bed, and when it was full, she'd put up a new sheet. As a commercial arts student, I didn't understand the abstract world. I didn't know much about it. My first day in college, walked past a workroom with a senior art student throwing paint at a canvas. And I said, you can do that? <laughs> she looked at me like I was nuts. I felt that it was empowering. Now we're here in your beautiful Second Life home. A lot of art around, but none of it is actually yours. How come? Well, I have all these different galleries in Second Life. If I want to see my work, I just go there. What do fellow artists that you interact with in the physical world think about Second Life? They think it's just a video game. I said, well, I don't play video games, but in Second Life, I actually run a business and it actually makes money. And how about your family? What do they think about SL? My older sister asked me, she said, well, what is the value add? She was a business major in college, you know, and after explaining what I was doing, I couldn't understand her question. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? What's the value add? Everything. My focus is entirely on the canvas. My paintings are intuitive. It all depends on my mood, my own personal aesthetic values. Second Life didn't affect the way my art evolved. It just affected how productive I became. The way art works in Second Life is exactly the way it works in real life. Just a lower cost. Whenever someone invites me to show my work, my first question is, how long have you had the gallery? Where is your gallery located? If someone in real life said, I want to give you a show, of course I'm going to want to visit the gallery and see, well, what neighborhood is it in? What's their client base? The only difference is the overhead. You know, you don't have to hire a crew to hang the art. <laughs> It would have been nice if I'd had a brick and mortar gallery, but considering the things that happen in the world that affect such a business, if I'd opened a gallery in 2009, it might have been closed five years later. In closing, let's talk a little bit about your father and his role in kind of shaping your own career trajectory in life. My father was also a commercial artist and painter. He did not achieve recognition that he deserved my mother used to say to me, don't be like your father. She wanted me to go much further than he did. And when I found Second Life, I realized that I've been able to surpass what my father had done in his life.